Do you understand the rules? Yeah. This is a rule breaker. No, I got this. But you, you can't lift your pen and you yeah. can't look at the path. And don't make fun of my hair. Oh, I lifted up my pen. Ugh, hold Keep on. going. Okay. Back over here. All right, time's up. Okay. Gorgeous. Let me see. Oh my, I look so sad and surprised all at the same time. I look so... I <laughs> an ear growing out of the side of my head. What that was that? supposed to be your lips. I think that anyone looking at this would be like, that's Jeremiah. Wow. What inspired you creatively growing up? I think what inspired me the most growing up, I know it inspired you. Yeah, I say. No, I'll say. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna speak for him actually. Oh, I love that. Um, he and his mother used to go to open houses all the time, and he they would you would imagine what the space would be. Yeah, that was I, a huge source of inspiration for you. Yeah, I wasn't really inspired by by travel or anything, but when when I was younger, but when I would go into these homes um, and these houses that were open, I would imagine how I would change things around, and I would put a kitchen there, and then I could see like they would have it always staged, and I'd be like, oh wow, they put a sofa there. That's so interesting. This was a huge source of inspiration for me. What about you? Your mom was creative though. Yeah, my mom was an interior designer growing up, so I mean, our whole house was filled with fabric samples and wallpaper and books, and it was my job to carry them from her trunk into her office. But my mom actually was the first person that, that taught me that you don't have to buy things new. And she loved antiques malls and um, flea markets and estate sales and auctions and all of that, and I still do all that stuff today. Who are some designers that inspire you? Oh my god, there's so many different designers that inspire us. Um, Royer, Prue, um, Charlotte Perry, and um, Joseph Hoffman. Yeah, um, I Jacques think. Grange, who's still working. Corbusier. Um, a lot of, I think, randomly European designers. Um, I'm not sure why, but um, that's definitely true. Samuel Marks, um, Chicago and LA, New York architect. It was really fun when you kind of experience these designers and you read about them and you see what they were inspired by, and then you take little pieces of that and you try to create something which is a hybrid of what, you know, your own perspectives and what they've done. But the truth is there's so much that was accomplished in the 30s and 40s and even 50s um, stylistically that I think resonates for the both of us. What is your advice for someone who's having a hard time getting creative or finding their creative outlet? I think that they, I, because of the world we live in now, there's so much at your fingertips, which is so fantastic, but also can be a bit daunting. And I think people get really nervous. And I think, you know, even though we're on design television where we're showing you and you're seeing a house renovated in one episode, my biggest advice would be to take your time and take the pressure off yourself. Find something that you react to emotionally that means something. Um, take some time exploring things. Take some time understanding things. Have fun. So my biggest advice would be to take the pressure off and take the take your time. What are three words you would use to describe that collective style? I would say that it's storied, warm, and strangely casual because I think what we live in is this kind of formal architecture with these huge moldings and we're, I don't think most people would describe our style as casual. I, I think it's casual for like high design. I think that it's like we're not trying to prove anything to anybody by what we live with. I think that that's really what I mean. You don't walk into our home and have a sense of formality. Formality? I think some no. people would consider it to have some formality, but we don't, and we don't find anything to be precious. We never want people to walk in and feel like they can't put their, you know, glass down somewhere. You don't think our house is casual? I Can we get back to you guys on our design? You guys thought I was we haven't figured it out. Why don't you run a poll and yeah. tell me if it reads casual? All right. If it does, I'll be thrilled. Let's hear from you. What are some tips for anyone young looking to get into the design field? I think the biggest tip is sort of what we've talked about. If you're young and you want to get into design, um, you're really only as good as your references. Education obviously matters. 
Neither one of us have a degree in design, but we've learned in the field and been able to hire really talented people who know how to, you know, do everything in those weird, scary computer programs. But um, the truth is creativity can't really be taught. And so if you love design and you're really interested in design, start paying attention, get online, start researching interiors around the world, research the designers. If you didn't know the names of the people that we were talking about, then go figure it out. Because when you have all of these images and these ideas in your head that have come before, it's much easier to create something that's totally new. And you'll be a better designer if you understand history. I think it's such an exciting time for designers because the world is literally at your fingertips. We keep talking about references, but not everybody can travel. Not everybody can go online. see. Exactly. So not everybody can go places. So now you can go on Instagram, you can go on Pinterest, and you can travel the world visually and get an understanding of things that you connect to and what you don't like. I think my advice to a new designer and somebody that's starting a business, having done it myself, would be write everything down and say yes. When I started my business, I said yes to anything and everything that would come around. Even if the projects were hard or the budgets were complicated, it's all about getting the experience you need to continue to grow and elevate yourself professionally. True. Sorry I jumped on you there. It's okay. We're working on it. What kind of inspiring location do you think everyone should visit? God, that's such a hard thing. I don't know if I can pick one place that everybody should visit, visit for a location. I mean, listen, we find we find inspiration in New York City and a subway sometimes or on the street corner or on a street that we've never walked down. Um, for me, the number one place for inspiration is Venice. I, I, it's like the first place I've ever walked into and like had an emotional reaction to. Um, but I think you can find inspiration anywhere. Mine would probably be Mexico, um, but sort of the places off the beaten track, not the beach destinations that everybody goes to like all the central highlands and the old colonial towns, the city of Merida, for example, um, San Miguel, the beach town Correas. Um, Mexico City actually is one of my favorite places, our favorite places to go to. But you know, the truth is, is that beauty is absolutely everywhere. If you live in Indiana, go to the flea market, go to the art museum. If you live in Rome, do the same thing. Um, I think that inspiration, as long as you're open to it, will find you anywhere. How do you think design can make the world a better place? I mean, the reason we do this television show is not just because we love design, it's how we show love. And what we've understood and the kind of silent mission between the two of us has always been to show this country and the world a family that looks like ours, that loves like ours. Um, you know, we're two men in love with two children, and that's not something that everybody has exposure to yet. And the truth is, is that TV is a really fantastic place where you can learn a lot in the comfort of your living room. And you can see a family like ours loving other families. And you can see the common thread, which is we all just want to live beautifully. We all want a beautiful, big life filled with love and occasionally a pretty living room. And I think that's what we represent. It's just exposure and showing people that we're all the same.